na rarapat gawin. Ito anya ang dahilan bakit nais ng UK government na tulungan ang Bangsamoro government upang mas mapaunlad pa ang ekonomiya at siguridad sa rehiyon ng Warm. It's not quite 17 months, I think it's more than that, uh, but I think you're talking about the period yeah, before yeah. electioneering yeah. started. So our, our program is mostly focused on um, <coughs> governance related issues, so institutional development, women's political participation, uh, media training, civic engagement, um, these types of issues. We've also got programs on climate change related issues and, and, and some other interventions. But really, I think it's important for us to understand what our niche is and then work in coordination with other partners and other partners are doing much more um, work by way of service delivery, for example, or infrastructure or supporting uh, private sector development and, and, and livelihoods. And this is why a forum such as the Indian Air Development Forum is important to coordinate efforts and make sure that we maximize synergies and maximize our collective impact. An extraordinary journey. And I think what we're seeing now is a much broader um, sense that this is a credible, long term, effective solution to, to what we have for decades of conflict and violence. And when we look at what's happening in the region right now, we're nowhere near where we were before in terms of uh, terrorism in particular and, 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 and violence and insurrection and rebellion. And I think we've got a much, much stronger fabric uh, for, for peace and development. It's not by no means you know, job done, not at all. We should fall asleep at the wheel. But I think we should recognize the huge progress that's been done through the leadership that we've seen both in Manila and in Cotabato, and that's what's really important for different stakeholders to come together, to share the vision, to stay the course, to stay committed, to keep working on you know, getting those uh, those key pieces of legislation on and done through the different codes and delivering a real peace dividend for the people so that people can feel that this is in their interest and their day-to-day -day lives are improved so there's no more hunger, so that there's no no more hardship so that kids can get to school, so that kids can get to market, etc. Sa kanyang pagbisita sa Davao City, pinulong ni UK Ambassador Laurie Bufils ang ilang mamamahayag ng rehiyon upang talakayin ang ilang mahahalagang usapin na may kaugnayan sa usaping kapayapaan, siguridad at ekonomiya sa rehiyon. Malaki na anya ang iniunlad ng rehiyong bangsa Moro sa nakalipas ng mga taon dahil na rin anya sa mas pinagtibay na ugnayan ng pamahalaan at mga stakeholders. Ilan sa mga tinalakay sa nasabing pagpupulong ay ang mga isyo kaugnay sa nalalapit na barangay election kung saan may ilang kaso na ng pamamaslang sa mga barangay officials na naitala sa rehiyon, particular sa lalawigan ng Maguindanao del Norte at Maguindanao del Sur. Tinalakay din ang usapin ng decommissioning na siyang isaanya na dapat matutukan bago pa man matapos ang transition period. Plano na rin anya ng UK government na maglagak ng investment sa mga posibleng negosyo sa Mindanao, kabilang na ang rehiyon ng BARC. The view that we hold is that having very strong institutions is key for um, a functional democracy and for um, and said institutions to deliver inclusive growth, inclusive services. So for us, we see that as our niche, if you like, working with the BARM and the Transitional Authority in particular to develop those strong institutions, building on our own experience. Sa ngayon, may mga nakalatag na rin anya ang UK government na mga programa na makakatulong pa upang mas maging epektibo ang pamahalaang bang sa Moro, lalo na sa paghahatid ng serbisyo sa mga nasasakupan nito. Mula dito sa Cotabato City, kasama si Donabel Labaho, ako si Crisbel May Lorenzo para sa Kutang Bato News.